So what does this look like when we start with the sigma notation and we want to write it as an integral because we, here we're applying a limit as n goes to infinity. So what we want to do is we want to establish firstly our dx, our delta x, which is our dx when we let the limit go to infinity. And the dx term is going to be the term, in this case, it's going to be the term on the outside of the function, which is, looks like it's a cosine function. Okay, so I'm going to take that cosine expression, and on the outside, it looks like I have a dx on the outside here. Okay, so this dx is going to be 2 over n. On the inside of the function, I need to establish my x variable. So on the inside here, this is going to represent my x. Okay, and I can see that x is going to change as I increase uh, multiples of my 2 over n. So what I can do is I can rewrite this expression like this. I have the cosine of pi over 2 plus, well, I have to have groups of 2 over n, so I'm going to write that in. So I have multiples of 2 over n, because I remember I have to go up by increments of that, and I'm going to factor out here a 2k. Okay, so that then must represent the expression that I'm going to use here. So my I'm going to end up with 2 times, I'm putting the k into here, that represents my x. Then I need to multiply this expression, the x expression, by 2. So this is going to then end up being 2x in my expression. So I'm going to start writing my sigma notation here, or sorry, my integral notation. I have a cosine function. It looks like my x is going to go up by 2x's, so it looks like it's starting at two, pi over 2 plus 2 times, and that 2k over n represents my x expression. And on the outside, there's my delta x, my dx, so I'm going to write that as dx. And then I need to establish my starting point and my ending point. So my start point A is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity when k equals 1. So it's going to be pi over 2 plus, it looks like here, 4 over infinity. I'm just going to write that as n. So k is equal to 1. So that's why I just get 4. And working this out, this works out to be pi over 2. So my starting value. My lower bound is going to be pi over 2. My n bound, which I'll call b, is going to be the limit of this expression when k equals infinity. So I get pi over 2 plus 4 times. This is basically k is infinity over n. This is going to be these are linear terms of infinity, so we're, when we simplify this, this becomes, uh, looks like pi over 2 plus 4 x, plus 4. So pi over 2 plus 4 is my n bound. Okay, so this is now, I've convert, gone from my sigma notation to uh, my integral notation.